Welcome back to Unlocked, What's Your Favorite Color? Hey, it's Emily, and this is Unlocked, your daily key to opening your heart to God. A little unconventional intro to our story today, because as it turns out, the author of today's devotion and I have something in common, our favorite color. Today's story is called Purple, and it was written by Melissa Yeagle. Traditionally, purple means royalty. For example, Roman magistrates wore white togas with a wide purple border, and Roman emperors and victorious generals wore purple togas with gold trim. Purple also happens to be my favorite color, and I wear it quite a bit. Did you know Jesus wore purple and he was made fun of? It happened right before he died on the cross for our sins. Jesus, who is God and King of the universe, was giving the ultimate gift of his life to defeat sin and death so we could live forever with him. But the authorities were mocking him because he claimed to be a king. They clothed him in purple and beat and ridiculed him. The very people he came to rescue were being outright mean to him. As Christians, we have a God and King who loves us so much he was willing to take our punishment for us. Even when we were nothing but cruel to him, he died to save us from sin and death. His mercy and love are so great toward us. Now, when I see purple, it reminds me of God's great love for me. I serve a king who was willing to be mocked, beaten, and killed so I could know him. A king who was willing to die for his people even when they hated him. Romans 5.8 says, But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Okay, so let's chat. God is perfectly good and just, so our sin, the wrong things we do, separate us from him. Read Romans 5, 6 through 8. Why is it important to know that Jesus loved us even when we were still caught in sin? Why is it important to continue to remember God's love for us even after we have put our trust in Jesus? Read Romans 8, 38 through 39. Can anything separate us from Jesus' love? I think you're going to like the answer you find. Lots of great things to read today. Don't forget to also read Mark 15, 16 through 20 to help keep God's word alive in your life. Hey, thanks so much for listening to Unlocked today. Have you ever thought about writing for Unlocked? We'd love to read anything that you send to us. To see our writer's guidelines and submit a story, go to unlocked.org. And that's it for me. Until next time, I'm Emily, encouraging you to live your life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.